Okay, we are back with more Final Fantasy 15. We finally have a swimsuit for Igni. And Prompto, but Prompto's kind of, um... Prompto's kind of skinny as fuck. You're prop. Oh dear god, the performance. Where's Prompto? No, seriously, where's Prompto? Oh god, why is it? There he is. There's our skinny little boy. You look malnourished. Are we staying here? Well, just so you know, I'm cool with camping. I don't think there is a campsite here, but yeah, like... Damn. Lost. Locked. He Definitely he gets so thin not, around the waist, ahead. it's ridiculous. But there we go. We got a... Uh, everyone's got swimsuits now. Uh, now, today... I do need to keep an ear out for uh, um, a delivery. Bye now. Having a nice morning. Uh, it's Till next time. Jade and mine's anniversary tomorrow, and the uh, present that I ordered like a month ago is apparently arriving today. Nice. Um, so yeah. I could write around this much. So here's the thing. I want I want to know what the Afro Sword is. But I don't know how to activate so, the timed quests. Also, things seem to be fucking up with the mods and the rain. I don't know. Doesn't want to run though. All right, we we can't really do much unless I get back in the boat or I go back to the mainland. I'm really hoping that it's just it trying to load things in. We we were not having these issues last time, and I'm hoping it's not from the mods. What's up, Prompto? How about a group photo? I know just the place, and it's close. Well, okay, yeah, sure, let's get a picture let's of us all naked. Out. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> to the palace. Splendid. Where are we off to? Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's <laughs> in the rain. In the rain. Mm. Prompto, I know you're a great photographer, but you have a Ready barcode on your wrist. Oh, that's kind of broken. In so many ways. Oh, love the lighting. Also, have we seen anyone's hair? 
actually go down. Because their, their hair is supposed to get messed up in the rain. But I don't think we've seen that even once. I haven't accidentally equipped someone with it, right? These literally just give AP. So I don't know why their hair is so perfect, because, I mean, fair enough, you don't really He's notice nice it here. on many of them except Prompto and Igni. Legitimately not seen it the entire game. Can I? Let's actually. I mean, the weird thing is that you're wearing the same amount of clothes no matter which one you're wearing. Everyone's on holiday. Alright, come on. There we go. Element C. That gives a big old experience cast. <laughs> Hold on, delivery update. how far away it is? Probably not. Oh, well, if it's coming from Manchester. That would be a fair way. Kill cast. Nothing else is that. Uh, I wish there was an easy way to just go like all. Oh. This menu has always felt awkward to me. Uh, so we have a kill debased. Makes it more powerful. Maxi cast. Oh, that's because it's adamantite. Yeah, that would do it. Precast. Ooh, but that's the cactar needle. Venom level 99. 
A zoo beak would also do maxi cast. The Scarlet Splinter Bone. Whatever the fuck you get that from. From a Quetzalcoatl. Ah. Go with that. It's powerful and it's basically guaranteed to cast three times. Well, it's time for us to go and meet with a politician. So we need to be wearing our best attire. Okay. Although, mm, how do you... I want him to learn how to make the lasagna. don't actually learn the lasagna recipe from eating it, you just learn it at a certain cooking level. So yeah, let's go. The lasagna is literally the only thing you care about in this city. That's right. We're half-naked men slicked down with rainwater. Talk to us, baby! This does not look like a diplomatic meeting. This does not look like business, this looks like Thank pleasure. You for coming. The negotiation is about, about to begin with the first secretary of Klaustra. Engage her in a manner befitting a king, and strive to win her trust and cooperation. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. We will be king. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? The big guy woke up and went on a trip. Really? A mild way to put it. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Not much you can do when it comes to gods. You'd suggest I accept my city's destruction? Gotta choose what you want to protect. I wasn't expecting you to say that. Perhaps you're not as unthinking as I first thought. Without further ado, let us talk terms. 
If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. That's fine, but what about damage to the city? Your concern is appreciated, but I am prepared to accept some structural damage. Keeping the citizens safe is my chief concern, and therefore yours. And that is not all. Once the rite has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more, but as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. What do you mean, like my father? Sometimes I can't tell whether you're sharp or dull. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> <laughs> and why does she give me coins? Man. Ooh, knock this beat 300 grand. That's right, that's a political entourage if ever I saw one. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. The Day of the Right. Now she gets emotional. I love you guys. I thought you married. Well, no, but I'm going to see my fiance. During the right, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. Is that it? Okay. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. 
I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. Where's Seymour? Knocked. You in position? Yep. Don't forget the plan. We See need to stop too. the wedding. Yeah, we don't stand out at all. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. What the whole city's come to watch. The medieval knights with assault rifles. Those are the Nifgard. Okay, the water just rose. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods Watch over us, by their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above. Our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep, by the sacred rite I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. That's my boom. Knocked. The umpire's here. Wow, they snuck up on us. Dropships are closing in on the board. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay, look after the citizens. We got them covered. So, it begins.
So we're starting to get quite late into the game. We're like in the the late the later third, I'd say, of the game now. But I think episode prompto is coming up. <laughs> What for? It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Woohoo! The fact that it's the same Leviathan from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Wretched pile of bone and flesh, ignorant that that governs all, comes to requisition the might of a goddess. The Hydrin has awoken. Civilians? Almost there. We'll join you when we're done. The Empire has the Hydrin surrounded. Hurry, Goat! I'm on it. Then the rites already begun. Most likely. Time to lend the Hydrin a hand. Hi! Don't mind me, I'm just heavily armored. In my swim shorts. know that the king of kings is to drive the darkness from our star <laughs> Ooh, she got that sexy rip <laughs> it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. Bitch! I vow, the king will prove himself worthy. What a way to break the fucking... Thank you. Man. What was this? <laughs> New ride we borrowed from the Nifts. This will get us in close, serious. Here she comes! I got this. Oh, God. I'll get as close as I can. But it's up to you. I completely right. forgot this bit. But hey, it's a good thing we wore a swimsuit. I saw it. I knew we'd go places. Not again. Not making this easy. Not. Whoa! 
Hey, yeah. The name's not. I'm the king that's gonna prove themselves to you. I need your power. That's not a request, that's a demand, you bitch. That's gotta be smart. Hiya. She's making gravity defy itself. Take you down. Some structural damage. Bitch slap. <coughs> and she's got a cough. She's got COVID. Oh no. Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. <laughs> I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness shall know peace. Okay, now her hair's gone cray cray. That's right, resurrect the bitch. Because he got bitch slapped by a fish and died. going Super Saiyan. He's apparently already wearing the ring. Gil. Yeah. 
Ironically enough, I think I did more damage with uh, Ragnarok for the room, so. That's right, you go sleepy with the fishy. You're not so horny anymore now, are you, bitch? Genshin Impact update really made Storm Terrace fight a bit more interesting. That's right, I'm doing a Legolas. Get more experience for Noctis and only Noctis. And now our uh, Super saiyan this is gone. I mean, it's better that it was Titan than Rama. Because water and electricity... <laughs> that would have been interesting. Noctis. Cute baby Noct. Uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, blooming from hill to vale. 
Will you be there? Oh shit, she's a ghost! Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. Kingdom Hearts 4 hitting us with that deep shit. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. The difference is when Kyrie gets hurt, we laugh. This is just sad. Like, all joking aside, this is a really powerful cutscene. And fucking beautiful, can we all agree? And it's really good at showing how childish Noctis actually is. Like, fair enough, we've had the whole game so far to know that. But it just really cements it before the uh, the final segments. Hey, that's not what we were wearing! Back with us. <clears throat> that's right. I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. So I could um, play Igni's episode now. But it has lost. some impact on... Igni's episode actually has endings. Whereas Prompto's ending, uh, Prompto's episode has nothing to do with Endgame. Umbra left that for you. So we should do Prompto and then Igni. Dark and broody. Yay! You like how after that the city is miraculously fine. I think it was only a certain part of the city that got destroyed. Oh, that's... That's nightmare inducing. That's not too bad. That was in the short period where we were wearing clothes, but that 
Oh dear God, that. So I think... So chapter 10, we could play Igni's episode. Because this is... So chapter 10 is after the majority of his story. But it impacts the end. But Prompto's story is in chapter 12. Um, I think. And so... What I'm probably going to do is try and get through the story back to when it opens up. And we'll do Prompto's episode when we can, but then we'll do Igni's episode, like, chapter, I think it's 14 or 15. After the time skip, that's when it opens up again, right? So, we're going to roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Gartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. I say it's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? What? My fiance just died. We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. How's that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough! Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <sighs> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. Knocked! Leave him. Wow, his hands are scribbled up like prunes. <laughs> Although, to be fair, we never upped the graphics after Gladio's episode, did we? Oh, shit. Alright, Resident Evil Zero, time to go. Just a station away. You think we'll be okay? All of us? Those men in black are spooking me out. Shh. Don't talk about others. Forget how much of the train you can explore. When when's the goo boss? Are, are you gonna turn into a goo monster? Made out of leeches?
Sorry, Gladio, did, did you need a shit? I saw the way you were looking at her. I wasn't looking at anyone. Wearing a fedora. You were clearly looking. Hey, can I get a scotch? High Commander Foray has been deemed accountable for Altitia's tragedy. Still no sign of Lady Luna Freya anywhere. It's not looking good. What I wouldn't give to see her again. Grillian Medal of Distinction? Excuse me, bitch. You know, instead of being a, a goo boss, it could be a um, zombie. Wanna head to the dining car? Final Can Fantasy VIII star. Other girl. Give me a break. I'm, I'm just hungry, is all. That place looks interesting. Pissy little bitch. Anything in Cartanica worth stopping for? I doubt it. But we'll be there long enough to find out. Hmm? I wish I could run, but I really can't. Tomb here. You bet we'll be raiding it. Tomb Raider. I understood that reference. I can't go any further. All right. It's time to rest. Step closer to finding the next tomb. Well, clearly we're no longer in the right outfit. Who? You look for who, 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 and who? My darling baby chocobos. I thought I'd take them on a trip to see the world, but now they're off seeing it without me. They can't have gone too far. They can barely flap their wings. Oh, they must be so scared. Won't you help me find them? Yeah, okay. Jeez. This is definitely a job for Prompto. Get back here, you little shit. Alright, we got one choco chick. God, they are just adorable! I want 11. What? 
Well, hmm? I take it you've arrived safely, Highness? Yeah. Now I've just got to find out where this royal tomb is. Look no further than the Fodina Castino. There should be an elevator leading down to the quarry from the station. Roger. Good luck, and hold your nose. What? Thanks for the advice, I guess. Welcome, boys. We don't have much, but you're welcome to browse at your leisure. Thank you, Ken. Take care, boys. Why do you sell what you're getting into the mine? You best go prepared. Why does your voice sound familiar? Come back again. That voice really sounds familiar. Back for more. Come again. Ah, welcome back. Come back again. Back for more. Come again. Who the fuck is- Ah, welcome back. Come back again. Back for more. Come again. Ah, welcome back. Come back again. Back for more. That back for more. Come again. That back for more particularly is so familiar. Ah, welcome back. Come back again. Back for more. Come again. Ah! That's gotta be a famous voice actor. I just don't know which one. I'm not that good on voice actors. It's annoying me though that I know it's someone that I've heard a lot. I just don't remember who or from where. The fact that jumping up and down is actually a quicker way of getting around than just trying to run. Fuck. Mega Phoenix in the trash? Jesus. I hear a chocobo chick. Could it be in the train? Is this the food cart? Welcome. Welcome. What's on your minds? What'll you boys be having? I guess I'm having chicken nuggets, a baked potato, some peas, and some mash. That looks on, fucking horrible. Doesn't look any better in the close up. Thank we'll God Igni around. didn't go, Ah, I've developed a new recipe. Why the fuck is there a laser sense? What?
Look, I have one of your chocobo chicks. Listen, kid. You may be dead set on going down there, but you're set to end up dead if you do. Cool. Thanks for the pep talk. Love it. Love it. There's the chocobo chick. Swiggity sooty. I came for that chocobo booty. Just random shit from dumpster diving. That's always nice. Yeah, you think I didn't? Fuck you. Got you, bitch. the items undoubtedly down here. Mega potion. Again, the fact that this is actually faster than just running. Still one chocobo to find. Well, did you find them? I found some of them. Well, did you find some of them's better than none of them, lady. If the monsters down there don't kill you first, the smell probably will. What? Was there a gas leak or something? No one knows for sure, and I'm not risking my life going down to find out. If you want to risk yours, though, then be my guest. There's an elevator that should take us straight down to the mine. Wonder if the tomb's inside. Those two went to grab a bite in that glorified dining car they call a restaurant. Hey kid, help me out here. You probably already know how the quarry's closed off due to an unexplained accident. What you probably don't know, however, is that this journalist is looking to be the first to get the real scoop on the situation. The thing uh -huh. is, the quarry's crawling with ferocious beasts and my pen is mightier than my sword. Well, actually, I don't have a sword. But you do. That's why I want you to go down there and take some photos on my behalf. First, I'll need three shots of that big machine while you're at it. I also need one of the abandoned shed down there. Thanks, kid. Fuck you. Why ask for help when you can just demand it? If I was the last chocobo chick, I'd be out fucking bitches. Here he is, fucking bitches. Hey, you best be sharing some of them bitches. 
Oh. You adorable little fucker. You adorable little fucker. There we go. <sighs> that makes four. Um, um, you're welcome, invisible woman. That appears to have broken the game. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's what broke the game. Not the mods. No. You want to get in that ring of chocobo tricks, fella? Huh? Is that what you're trying to do? Huh? No, now he's just spinning. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir. Sir, I think... <laughs> I think we might have a problem here, sir. <laughs> the summoning ritual. <laughs> Fuck. I'm legitimately stuck. There, there's nothing. Okay. Oh, F4 it is. <laughs> of all of the things to break, it was the chocobo chick woman. Gotta wait. Well, the game uh, sends off data. My bitrate probably just crashed as well. A little bit. Come on. Thank God for auto saves. Please don't be fucked. Please don't have auto saved whilst I'm talking to the Chocobo woman. Pretty sure that's not how the game works, but you never know. Are we back to the start of the train? We're back to the start of the train segment. I don't think there's a way to skip. Aha! Come on. I get it. He's a bitch. 
Do I care about any of the items? That was what, a Garlean metal coin? That was the most interesting thing. Uh, we're almost there. One step closer to finding the next tomb. There you go, that's what we were going with. Here you are. Give me the help. Please help me. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, please, sir. I'll help you look. My darling, they can't. Yeah, okay. At least I know that most of these items don't matter. That was an adorable noise. you again we must commence the summoning ritual if you boys are heading into the mine you best go prepared come again god damn it why is that so familiar i take it you've arrived yeah look no there should be roger seat seat blessed thanks for the Hey kid, help me out. You probably what you probably the thing is that you first on the while you're at it. I also need one. Thanks, kid. Why ask for help? Why ask for help? You know? Why? We have the chocobos. Is this gonna fuck everything up again? Are you still gonna be invisible, chocobo woman? Okay, no, the chocobo woman is there. She's here. Talk to her. Oh, thank you. Aren't they just the cutest? They're the most adorable choco chicks in the world. And that's how it should be done. Wait, hold on. Oh no, it is, it's Igni and Gladio that are in the other one.
So, ready to set out. I'll manage somehow. I feel bad if we left him behind. Now, is this where all the Marlboros are? I think it is. Well, we made it to the quarry. But our destination likely lies deeper inside. Feeling a little out of my element. We're a foreign species in this environment. Mind we don't end up prey. Right. Good tip. Footing's bad. Watch your step. As best I can. Go at your own pace. We'll wait. I mean, can't one of you, like, take him by the hand or some shit? Mind the edge. Don't push yourself. Is it too much to ask the royal procession sticks together? Too much to ask you to shut it? That's right, Igni. Follow the scent of my ass. You can do it. I believe in you. Just follow the scent of my swamp. Why doesn't Igni just hold on to one sword? I'll hold on to another and I'll just teleport him everywhere. Hey Igni, you ready for your first fight whilst blind? I've got 99 problems, and Igni, you kind of want. Where even is everyone right now? Come on, Igni. Perhaps I should have left you behind. But consider this a bonding experience. Prompto. Perhaps it's time for some light. Yeah. How did you? The hour is late. 
That much I can tell. Oh, I see. That's good. Um, might have to take five minutes for a phone call. Uh, wait, I thought this was where- there it is. Am I new to the game? No. This is my second playthrough. Just need to, I need to take a phone call real quick. One second, guys. Sorry. I'm just going to pause the recording. Alrighty. Sorry about that. Let's get back into it. Um, I went the wrong way. Igni. Catch up. Can you just catch up? Like where, where are the boys? Oh, the boys are only just now coming. Oh, God. So, I think I need you, bud. Oh, it really was a mistake to bring Igni. Whee! Bom. Igni work out how to get upstairs. Yes. No? That's Gladio. Igni is still stuck. Look, I know that you're blind. Come on. <laughs> Someone that's blind, I'd really hope that they'd give you a lot more communication than this. Come the fuck. Prompto. Where is there a broken machine here, though? That's that's kind of the problem here. What the fuck? Oh. 
Can't see a thing. Guess I'll have to try again when it's light out. Oh. Is there a campsite? Feeling this is the switch that activates that big hunk of junk. Doesn't look like anyone's tried to use it though. I've got a feeling this is the switch. Doesn't look like. <laughs> it. What's this? Just a lantern. Okay. I'm really kind of pissed that I can't just take the boat in there. Two must be down below. Whoa, careful, Ignis. <sighs> right. Cannot be activated without a key. They parked here? Huh. Wish we could write him a ticket. Nothing but a giant roadblock. Eh, ironic for a vehicle. If we get his motor running, perhaps we can move it out of the way. How about we flip the switch? Hmm. Certainly wouldn't hurt to try. So that's the one that needs a key. This looks promising. Is it operational? We'll see. Hey, what are you stopping for? I'm not. Let's see here. In case of power failure, use backup generators. There's a key in the shed. So where is this shed? Well, if we knew where it was, we wouldn't be looking. Which means it's got to be somewhere we haven't looked yet. Watch out, Iggy. You're on top. Yeah! Oh, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Ah! Yeah! Ah, he used bubble beam. others fuck you I'm trying to help might not be doing a great job but I'm trying Needs a key. Needs a key. Imps? Goblins! Snagger! Gesundheit. Do 
You would say it was more of a hydro pump than a bubble beam. That's fair. I found it. Up there. You know what I also found? Campsite. Hey Igni. Can you still cook? Pronto. Poor sweet Prompto. So we can have chilled food tin. Or cup noodle. Both of which basically do the same thing, but the cup noodle's a little bit better. Took more photos today. Uh, you want to see? No, not really. Yeah, of course. Don't make me cry, Bronto. Don't make me cry. You're the sweetest of boys. We should get moving. Such a you okay, sweet Agnes. I'm fine. Don't mind me. Alright, but now I can take pictures. Woohoo! Right, I need to take a picture of the broken machine from here. As in... How they did Ignis dirty. Like, I wanna. So, episode Ignis takes place. I think mostly between Leviathan. The start of the Leviathan fight. And when he loses his eyes. A perfect shot. But I have no idea what kind Don't of stuff it happens. Because I, I don't actually know how Igni lost the use of his own. But I do, all I know is that that DLC has multiple endings, apparently. And, um,. That's because it continues through the end game. Just have fun there. Gonna wait until end game. Get back! These tombs are always in the darkest places. Glad you're taking this seriously. Oh, that's a big boy. Hey. What the fuck are you? Parlamon. Parlamon. Okay, that was a bubble beam. Very lobster tail, motherfucker. Yeah. 
Yeah, so Prompto's, Prompto's is coming up, but I believe that um, Igni's episode is based around chapter 10, chapter 9. It's like, it's it's all to do with when he leaves, as I say. Gladio! Sorry to break this up. Get fuck Pollux. That's right, Prompto's dead quick to use it. Noctis takes his death turn. Sorry to break this up. Prompto's Where's the enemy? Don't worry, Ennis. We got this. Wait, is that summon music? It is. We've not summoned in ages. Who do we got? Who do we got? Garuda. Seems like the only one we summoned since we got it. There's one All for right. Bahama and Ifri. I've definitely not seen that. Hey, Noct! Wait up! I would also love to know who Garuda actually is, because it looks like Valifor. To me. She did. She took Garuda from the... She took the name Garuda from the other Garuda. He won't say no to this. So I reckon it could be Siren. Um, could be Valapur, could be... What's the one? What was Queef? What was fuck Queef from um, Final Fantasy VIII? Who was she? Who were they? Was that that wasn't Quetzalcoatl? Because we already had Quetzalcoatl. I forget who Queef was. Who Queefed? That did a lot of damage. You know, so much for sticking together. Shut the fuck up, Gladio, okay? He takes ages. I'm trying to do a thing quicker. Do you feel bad for Igni, though? Kind of cut off. 
chance of summoning Garuda is boosted when wielding a weapon obtained from Yajime's trading post. Ah. Uh, <sighs> looks good enough to me. Move over, Prompto. There's a new camera king in town. I see. So, I should unequip the delicate. I can't change his equipment. Or his. Did she use one? Is that just because they're so far away? She can only be summoned every in-game 24 hours. So if I was to summon Garuda and then summon again in the same 24 hours, it wouldn't be her. I mean, that's good to know. But I don't know if that's going to actually come into anything. Because I don't know how many times you can summon in 24 hours. Try thinking about it. Like, I'm not 100% sure what the criteria for it are. Because is it just getting knocked down to low health in a fight? I feel like it's more than that. Yeah, good fucking luck, Ignis. That's right, we're eating beans, bitch! That's kind of a cute one. What you say? We should get moving. You okay, Agnes? I'm fine. Don't mind me. Going it alone, huh? Yep. Here, I found the key. Huh, pretty irresponsible to leave it out in the open like that. Where is the generator? Didn't you read the sign, Iggy? Not funny. Prompto's trying so hard, the sweet little bean that he is. I identify with Prompto so much in this chapter. No way to work the machine with that thing anyway. Take it out! I think I heard a J. I did. I did hear a J. Hello? Hello? Where is it? Right here. How does it look? She's wired and ready. Give it a go. And don't blow it up. Oh, thanks for the advice. Did it work? 
Yep, one more to go. Seriously? Since when are there two of them? Can it. Let's just get this thing moving so we can get on with our mission. We've got the power. Might not have it for long, though. Hurry up and move the machine. Yes, a helmet can only be summoned once in the whole game. I suppose that would make sense. He is the Don't ultimate run summon. Ahead. And he can probably only be summoned against Arden. And if it can only be summoned by Arden, which I suppose makes sense, because if it is working with him. Did you hear that? Sounds like we're clear. Grand. Then let's move. Okay. Just one second. Okay. It's Jade's house. It's the green screen again. Oh dear God. That's a wall of text.
Eh, looks good. Okay. Uh. So, hold up, hold up. Uh, uh, fever increases for each party member in down danger and the time the player is spent in battle. Okay, so the longer the battle, the more likely fever. Leviathan requires not to be in danger and in an open enough area. Okay. Yeah, so Rama can be... Rama can be summoned anywhere, which is why he tends to be the most common. But everything else, you need to be in a wide open area, pretty much. Okay, that's fair. So I wouldn't be able to summon Titan unless I was out in a field or some shit. Worth, worth knowing. I mean, the fact of the matter is that summoning tends to come into it so infrequently. Hold up. You sure you're ready for this? You got what it takes? To do what? To face your ancestors and convince them to lend you their strength. Got a long road ahead. Can you see this through? To the end? Can and will. Whether I like it or not, I've got a duty to fulfill. As king. <laughs> You're damn right you do. Then that means you'd better start taking this seriously. <sighs> oh, Gladio's words have aroused me. Good to go. We did it! Together! <sighs> Oh, sweet brothers. This cave is huge. The tombs further in? You want to wait here? Alone. Here. Not what I said. <laughs> oh, man. Something stinks around here. Don't slip and fall and whatever that is. Thinking about it. Uh, Dawn Hammer still got a few levels. Regroups still got further to go. Recoil. Yeah, that's got a ways to go. Tomb's got to be around here somewhere. The question is, where? Yeah! Oh, a generator and some water. Lovely.
What about over there? Looks pretty to me, to me. Mmm, <sighs> lovely flesh sacks. This? I hate eggs. Do we really want to know what's back there? <laughs> that looks like a mouth. Is that its face? What? What is it? Real bad. It's a Malbro. But it's okay. Igni, you don't need to do anything. Gladio and I have got this shit. That reeks. I remember this being a lot harder. that technique scan for an enemy weakness and exploit it with an elemental attack but you can't level it up ever and hey I threw fire at it whisking them just makes a mess better fry them I think we found it. Just wish they found a better place to build it. I don't think they meant to build it in a Malboro den. Just a punch. Uh, oh, the katana. Forget this weapons moves there. A moment. Is everything okay? Have it up. Yo. Is in you wanna borrow me? Yeah. One sec.
Sorry about that. Bloody well isn't. I won't suffer this pointless bickering in silence any longer. <sighs> Let's be frank. My vision hasn't improved, and probably won't. Yet in spite of this, I would remain with you all. To the very end. <laughs> Sorry, but I object. War is a matter of life and death. But we'll be it's there. It's not about us looking out for him. Uh-huh. Well, then he should be free to choose. There's more to it than just what he wants. I know full well. I won't ask you to slow down. If I cannot keep up, I will bow out. <sighs> what says his majesty? Noct, you are king. One cannot lead by standing still. The king pushes onward, always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Gladio, Noct will take his rightful place, but only once he's ready. Have it your way. We're still taking a big risk. We better all be ready. Yeah, I've done all the quests, so <sighs> sorry about having to pause that during the cutscene. Life. You guys mind if we stop in Tenebrae? <laughs> Might as well hop off. If it helps him move on. Gladio is being a bit heartless. I mean, no, very heartless. Oh, yeah. With these, I'll be a shoe in for user's choice. Um, you'll be a shoe in? My name's on the article, and that's the way the news goes. You're welcome. Set for boarding. Go. Yeah. Well, let's roll. In that case, hop aboard. We'll be leaving shortly. We're here for you. Yeah. Let us help you. And we're off. Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward. Not at his expense. Fair enough. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you leave Igni behind. The journey that this all goes through.
All right, let's go Tenebrae. Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the first secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. <laughs> the last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh, is someone else there? Gladio. He just came back. Where did he go anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire has already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Oh. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. Suppose from them might have already defeated Ifrit. Where's Prompto? There he is. Whoa! Oh, there you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. Doesn't make any sense. What's going on? It's a real mystery. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of gives me the chills. Like, who comes up with this stuff? I couldn't dream something like this if I tried. It's a wondrous world. The hell are Whoa, you doing here? What's going on? Easy. You killed my wife. Well, not my wife. Shut up. Be careful there. Wait, my fiance. This is for real. Oh, no. Oh. oh, I may have gone the wrong way. Show yourself. Ah, uh, knocked. <laughs> You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. Yeah, that they know. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. Quit playing around. You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? Dude. I've got you now. What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault. What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Nog? Are you saying it's not? Yes. What good would it do me to hurt Who you? Who cares? Knocked. Please. Can't we talk for a sec? Never. The intonation on his voice is so off. Oh. The slaying of the Glassian. Oh, Shiva. 
they killed Sheba. Knocked. Are you okay? No. Where's Art? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. Wasn't I just attacking Prompto? What the heck was that? You okay, bud? Right, we're in a different area. Time to change things up. Did they bomb us? Not! We have to protect the people! Hey! Head to the next floor! Leave these guys to us! Much for a safe ride. More of them might be on board. Let's check the rear. We need to get the train moving again. I'm sure Ignis and Gladio will come up with something. I hope so. Let's go. How bad do you think it is? I mean, I don't think it's good. We can't let them inside. Well then, we take the fight to them. If the train takes too much damage, it's a game over. Let the party begin. It's us. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty good on the odds. I think we'll be fine. I mean, it, it, it isn't great that there's a tank. Is it time for the fiesta? The fiesta El Fuego! Come on! We're leaving! Uh, 
And that, I think that's the start of Prompto's episode. <laughs> if I had to guess. <laughs> right. So now the question is, do we do the same thing that we did for episode Gladio, where we wait until we get Prompto back to then find out what he's been doing, or do we do what he's been doing to then get him back? Ignis, you've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. Oh, good. What the fuck is that? Gargoyles. A gargoyle. Oh, well, it, it didn't live.
Hey, Gargoyle. Gargoyle fall off. Leviathan. <laughs> this kingdom's on fire. Well, look who's here. Horanea. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. First things first. It's a fiesta. Huh? You guys. You guys need to get it. Get involved. What did you do to your eyes? No, oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm. Afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Oh, curse those imperials. Oh, are you all right? Oh, really did a no. on me. We ought to get you to a doctor. By the sound of it, you'll be departing for Altisha in a short while. Good. The sooner the better. Take us. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. We lost track of him. Is he dead? I, I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. So if it's not you, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> you 
You mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Oh, this is when Biggs and Wedge come the into play again. New engineers. Biggs and Wedge. No need to worry. I can take a licking. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. Um. Okay. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right. Especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shove off. It, their voices don't match up with what I expect. They mean well. Soul blossoms. My word, is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we? Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Flore. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? <sighs> yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too? Accept it. By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. 
Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. Yeah, Ravis's motivations always kind of confused me. There's quite a lot of characters whose motivations confuse me. Like Arden, Ravis. Aranea, even. About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but... That theory holds water in my book. Certainly explains why the kings have always guarded the crystal, and how they kept the demons at bay. Long story short, we're stuck in this rut until you go and take back what's yours. Yeah, uh huh? Isn't there a weapons store? Yeah! You don't have anything new, though. Yeah! She looks she like a character really from Shrek. To marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. to be together with Noctis again. Even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. She was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. I was all ready for the fiesta. What has become of our world? I listened to Lady Lunafreya's address on the radio. To think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. I can only imagine how she must have felt. Is the mana badly damaged? It's seen better days. So have the civilians. They've been through a lot. And the Chancellor's the one who put them through it. Put us through a hell of a lot, too. He never gets in our way. But he sure loves messing with us. Well, there's a good chance he got his hands on Prompto. Just hope he doesn't mess with him too bad. It's rather strange. Lady Gentiana has not graced us with her presence as of late. 
Perhaps she has no reason to stay, now that the blood of the Oracle is no more. Like her, others will eventually leave, and the land of Tenebrae will be lost to memory. I guess we should give up on the capital. Sounds like the lab in Grawley is a real mess. <laughs> Well, shit, everyone's depressed as fuck. The Empire has declared Lord Ravis a traitor and sentenced him to death. I believe the attack on the manor was further punishment. Anyone else? Old man? Lady Luna Freya once tended a garden filled with scylla blossoms, watering the flowers herself. Sadly, the whole field went up in flames. Uh, it's heartbreaking to see what's become of it. I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. How long are we to sit and wait in a war zone? Take ready us away. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car's open, if you need a break. Is this the dining car? Have you got any new food? Welcome. What's on your minds? Take a look at the menu. We'll see you around. Welcome. No. Grab some food before you go? I want it. Yeah. Over here. So I could call Umbra and go back to the main game. There's not going to be any photos, because there's no prompto. Shit. Take it away, boys. I do wish we got to explore Tenebrae more. Don't worry than about just the this, civilians. But... They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. It's snowing. Get your ass on board. Yes, sir. Look at all that snow. 
No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Ah, uh, but I can run this time. Hey, it that's not the car. The car's a monster truck. At least the paint job's the same. How much of this train is there to explore? Cause... There we go. I never actually realized that there's a legitimate map. Forgot how massive beef it is. No wonder what it could be this time. Hey, yeah. What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped as for the cause outside the We'll take a look. Oh, um. I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. Hey, it's Shiva. freezing. You better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. It's cold. Let's clean up out here. Warm up. Hey! Better make this snappy. See ya! That lich are right. Not far off then. I can't see to know how I'm doing. Nice try.
Do it. Sorry to break this up. Nice. I did not remember this. The fact that the characters just kind of freeze really worried me that something had broken again. Hey, knocked! What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on, there in a sec. Right. Awesome. No way. You hold it. That son of a bitch. You're as cold as ice. Stop! Stop, damn it! Where is he? Where's Pronto? Oh, there you are. I'm worried about your friend. They've fallen and they can't get up. Why not lend them a hand? <laughs> a coldness that can only be hers. Tales of the past. 
past and hopes for the future are manifest in the King of Kings. The Frostbearer's blessing shall be his. That's right. She's a naked chick. The Six have safeguarded this star since time immemorial. Each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The God's protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the Pyre Burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the Frostbearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them, the gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the Pyre Burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the Six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm. And, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the Pyre Burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins. Their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. In the days that follow the war, while the Six are still asleep, the Pyre Burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the Frost Bearer. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the Six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But it's my choice. If only... <laughs> If only I could hear his voice once more. If we could laugh together as we did as children. <laughs> if we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? 
forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may, it is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade. And, in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. Gentiana has. And if the words are not spoken names. from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The god's favor and the lady's love shall be with him evermore. Thus it is promised between the oracle and her familiar. I am undeserving of your kindness. Thank you. And so the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. Yeah. Thanks. O King of Kings, restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now... I never had the chance. I'm so sorry. I'm going to become the do? best mariachi singer it. ever. I promise you, Luna. You and I will be together again someday. I promise. You make me on poco look. <laughs> It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. Did they not start a fire? 
or something. I feel I've earned the right to call you not. For a moment I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. And after all the memories we've shared, remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Why didn't it Off look like you had then. a detonator? I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> because he did. Yeah, we're going to play a Prompto <laughs> DLC. Like... <laughs> I can't promise that we're going to play it today. So like, should we, should we play Prompto's DLC now before we find him again, or should we play it? Should we play through chapter thirteen, and then play the episode? Yeah, man. We should be drawing close to Gralia. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but he knew that. Huh. <laughs> Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? Zagnortus, an imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. We'll the impregnate the, the crystal bitch. inside it. What goes in must come out. So, are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. We've observed that as the knights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. If they are in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. The hell? What is it? My guess, something to sidetrack us. Whoa. I think we'll keep going until we get Prompto back again. Same as we did with Dario. Let's get to work. What's wrong? The weapons. They're stuck. Run! Come on. Move it. Yay. I can't fight we'll anything. Time before we run out of room to run. Got a better idea? We trade the train for the regalia. Come on! On my way! Knocked! The freight car! Keep moving! Get in, losers! Strap in. Now is this gonna transform? Is this going to transform during? Threat upgraded. Activating level four security measures. Sealing all gates. 
No, okay, we're still... Put the pedal to the metal. That's in the idea. This... Don't we're crash. in the, the normal Thanks regard. The Not the uh, Type D. Where are we now? Inside a tunnel. On the train tracks. Don't slow yeah. down, or they'll catch us up. Episode Ignis takes place during the Leviathan's fight, but the end of his DLC has connotations to Endgame. So it's best to do Igni's episode last, is my understanding. What was that? They're trying to blow us off the tracks. One clean hit, and it's over. It'll take a bit more than that to stop His Majesty's trusty steed. Dodging one thing to run into another. The Regale can take the punishment. Just focus on your driving. You can do it, girls. You can get through this. Woo! It's closing. Floor it! Come on, old girl. That's right, the Regalias. Fuck! Ah. Now those flames aren't just for decal. That's all she's got. It'll do. for everything. Are we seriously marching into the capital empty-handed? And with no assurances, the crystal can beat back the demon hordes. Guess we'll find out the hard way. No turning back now, right? <laughs> right. Now, this thing could come down at any time. Let's be quick. Come on, this way. Hold on, sorry, I needed to pick something up. Hey! Ignis! Gladio! Oh! Oh! That's new. Look at you, all by your lonesome. You again. You know, for an Imperial Chancellor, you are one sick son of a bitch. Demons, the hell do you want? Leave me alone! This is getting out of hand. No, yeah, I can... This chapter, I remember, for lack of a better explanation, uh, sucking. In the uh, base game. So if they improved it at which they clearly have, then uh, this should be a fair bit more interesting. I think I remember the most interesting thing about this chapter originally being that you could get the Iron Giant and you could shrink it and it would end up 
distorting and inverting on itself, which was weird. That was that was using the ring of the Lucii. I wonder if that's still in this. Harbored with the Ring of the Lucii, Arcana encompasses three powerful spells. The first of these is Death. Ah, oh, I can't, I can't change. I can't change my equipment. So I guess, oh no, now we can. Well, we're all by ourselves, but come on, time for a stealth mission. Do, 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 Looks do, like it's connected do, below. Do, do. Might be my ticket to the top. Where, who, what, hmm? Here's the thing, how much I've got a fair bit. Uh magic, 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 magic. No, not magic level. Uh stats. No. Where's the one that enhances my mana? More mana. Good. That's what we do. Alright, we are a magic boy. is this? Okay, 
Okay, that does indeed seem a bit quicker now, from having increased my magic. Nice. Good to know. Magic does affect Arcana. Who would have thought? I think they sped it up. I just, I seriously think they've sped up how quickly you can do things. So, if I remember correct, yeah. <sighs> Be safe to rest here. You can only save here, and so is the only way that I can do verse two if I switch them, or will I be forced into it at the end of the chapter? Because I want to do verse two, it's just I want to do verse one as well you know Trinity limit? That was fucking cool. I don't remember that. Dead quiet. Where did everybody go? I figured the game wouldn't let me go somewhere it wouldn't want to go yet. But maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Maybe I am supposed to be where that indicator is. Whoops.
open everything. Thank you. And that's the way to the elevator taken care of. With how quick that is. Unless there's a particularly large group of enemies, I'm probably better off just killing them the old-fashioned way. I say old-fashioned way, using um, death rather than alterner. Was it the one that's the AOE? say what does combat with the ring of Lucy I look like in first person whoa hey uh find them wherever they are aren't they like jump scary bits coming up can't you simply taste the air of foreboding like typical MTs. Must be tiring having to run all the time. I'm... Eh. That magic is a royal disappointment. Like, I don't quite understand why Arden is being so antagonistic. You fell asleep. Oh dear. Were you not supposed to fall asleep, Tinga? Hey! Something different about them. Something off. running around here I love that I can't see the thing I'm trying to kill you had headache You already slept like 10 hours. Yeah. So here's the thing. I want to just read up on...
Okay. So, I, if I go through this section fully as Noctis, I should then be able to access verse 2 from the um, main menu. So that's how we're going to be able to play both. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to miss anything. <laughs> It's all coming along swimmingly, isn't it? I remember there's some big info dumps uh, in the form of text in this chapter, right? Hey guys. Oh yeah, like you're not alive. I'm gonna try and fuck me in the butt. Oh, can't afford to get spun around. Prompto? Hey, Prompto, wait! In Prompto's outfit? Like that's that's the more impressive thing that it's in Prompto's outfit. It's those, the the ones that grab you. Those are the bits that I remember. That's the way I want to go. That's the way I want to go. And what's over here? Huh. And what have we here? Clearance level. Nice. Oh. Security clearance raised to level two. Access I mean, to I level that. two zones authorized. All right, what's what's uh, a holy look like? Okay, holies. Oh. If you time it. If you time it, huh. holy is ridiculous. <laughs> hey, prompt, 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 prompt. Hi. Hi. I sometimes shoot other people, but first let me take a selfie. I feel like you were supposed to have disappeared. No? Poor Prompto must be feeling the heat right about now. That's really satisfying. Invalid key. Data retrieved. Security clearance level. He was two. supposed to run. I figured. It's kind of funny that he didn't, though. Is he a herp derp? So, as far as I know, okay, um, that delivery hasn't been yet. 
But Jade's back, so she can keep an ear out for it. No. Help me. Thank you. I need that. Uh, oh. Go, get, go through the hole. Yeah. Rescue. Um, there's no one there. Oh, now there is. That was supposed to be Prompto. Another trick. Back to square one. Okay, it was another case of the invisible NPC. Security clearance raised to level three. The Access the invisible. Zones NPC con confuses and worries me. Oh, you should have seen the look on your face. You'd best hurry. Next time, it might really be your friend. Are you certain it wasn't the real thing? Wouldn't want to make a mistake. <laughs> Burn, motherfucker. Trying to hit me. That's just so satisfying. Because it's so quick, it's so much less effort. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. This, this is much, much easier. Than uh, the first time around. Before they updated everything. Oh, it's just so unfair. coming.
heart's desire. So close now. Soon Is it? it will be within your grasp. I suggest you take the central elevator. It will take you to your goal. Aren't you helpful? Don't look down. Fuck you. Don't look down. Gotta find a way to make it move. Is this where the Iron Giants start coming into it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Hey. I'm supposed to, you know, stealth from you. Didn't much fancy doing that. So it does still drink them. Look at his waist. So it still operates the same way. It's just a lot easier to use. I swear that eventually it inverts. If on a king itself. cannot protect himself, how is he to protect others? Oh, well, there's another one. That's good. I was worried we were going to run out. is it happens to his sword as well. Like I'm pretty sure his sword gets smaller. Oh yeah it is. Look at that, it's tiny. So is his waist. of the sword now. Damn it. Skeleton. Oh, his head! I didn't notice his head. Yep. Oh, I'm glad they didn't fix that. <laughs> Out of all the things they, they could have fixed, I'm glad that wasn't one. I also like how this guy hasn't noticed that I'm draining the light from him. Oh, 
Oh, his fingers. Oh. Oh, the fingers. No. I, I don't like that. I don't like that anymore. He's going to try and grab me. Oh, hey, it's an empty. I feel as though I've been ratted out when the guy shouldn't have actually seen me. There we go. No, no. Apparently he, he still knows. these items. There we go. Oh, now they've found you. I thought the, the audio meant they found me a while back. I was running past all these items I couldn't pick up. Apparently a book. Although I successfully repaired the robot by some by supplementing deficient areas with parts salvaged from our own Magitech armor fleet, I've had no luck in terms of activating the device. It responds ever so slightly when jolted with a bit of an electric current, yet it nevertheless remains offline. I suppose I am left with no choice but to dismantle the device and discover precisely how it operates. You're telling me that I can only use it from the floor that it's on. Oh, fuck you, buddy.
Hi. Bye. It's just so satisfying. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Keyed up. All right, I've got the key to the generator. of shit. I like all kinds of shit. Yeah, grab me? No. Interesting choice. Watching his little legs. His little legs going away. That was kind of cute. The higher you climb, Oh, they definitely changed the ring of the finger. Yeah, you basically only used death. So I think death was pretty much all you could do. Like, Holy didn't... I don't think Holy did that much damage for doing a perfect dodge. Um, and I don't remember the... Uh, AoE being able to take down basically full health Iron Giant like that. Or it took longer to charge up or something. Hey Ravus. Give me my daddy's sword. So this has nowhere near enough emotional impact. That I think it should. Like, I think that they wanted it to have. Because Ravis was a shitbag. I mean, fair enough, it turns out that his motives were for his sister in the end. But we don't understand. There's nothing to really make us understand that properly. Rest easy. Your work is done. Rely upon the Alticians if you must, and cease all contact with the Empire. If you seek a covenant, you know full well the cost. Did not just succeed in claiming the power, I shall gladly restore his father's sword to him. Yep. It's my daddy's sword. Huh? My daddy, he, he gave me this sword. I shall send an escort. You and Gentiana will return to the map. It is dangerous to remain in Lucis. 
The Empire fears the covenant with the Archaean, and ere long they will come for you. Noctis may have the storm's blessing, but his powers remain as feeble as a breeze. Open your eyes, Luna Freya, and see the futility of your toils. He is unworthy of your sacrifice, and of King Regis' sword. So this is supposed to make you feel for him. So like, really, he is, he's is—he's been trying to just protect Luna Freya from her fate. Well, Dad, let's see what you're so able to see. <laughs> Being able to see is nice. Hey guys, guess what? I still have this. You're telling me there was a black hole in the room and you didn't get affected by it, aren't you a special little snowflake? Can't you simply taste the air of foreboding? Did you hear that? There's something out there. It's tempting to take off the Nick Experience band and just level knock this up. None of the others. No, not Igni, not no Prompto, not Gladio, no. Just knocked us. What's this smoke? Where is it coming from? It's poison, uh, my king. Uh, well, you can't say I didn't warn you. Getting thicker by the second. You need to stop it. Okay, so there's safe rooms, but I really kind of don't need them. Again, this is... I know that some of it might be due to my magic staff, but that's so, so much quicker than uh, the base games. Or rather, the original. At least I think it is. It might be that I remember it being far, far worse than it was, but... Seeing them just get sucked in and that telemetry brain is amazing. I get far, far too much enjoyment out of it. I should use holy more. I wish that because you're still wearing the ring when I use the Sword of the Father. It's not like one is independent of the other. It's not, I don't take the ring off. You know? So I wish that I could still have the benefit of holy. Thank you. 
to further incentivize me to blink during uh, combat. Only, only for the perfect dodge, though. Only for the perfect uh, blink or warp or whatever the fuck it is that they call it in this game. Yeah, it can't be fucking waiting for you to get up. So. Oh, it's a shot. Hey, friend. Yeah, you're not going to come back to life. Can we come to life? There's nothing that cures um what's its name? Stop in this, is there? Security clearance range. I know I can become immune four. to stop. Access to level four zones authorized. I don't think there's any way for me to like cure it. Hey. <laughs> You go couple. Oh. Huh. I didn't realize there were so many of them at first. without your friends babysitting you. You stole a potion? You drank it. Day. I have grave doubts about your friends. Shut the fuck up, Arden. Nobody likes you. to be an actual weapon in one of these armories. I think I just want more weapons to be fair. He really didn't want to go, did he? My researchers were met with the most curious of phenomena this morning. The device we dismantled last night had somehow reformed. We lost four workers from stray laser caught them off guard. Worst of all, my hopes of the weapon staying online were dashed when it abruptly shut down after its rampage. Needless to say, the remaining researchers were less than eager to continue their work. That's right, they're making an they're making a weapon, aren't they? What the fuck is that when it's at home? Reduces ballistic stem. Thirty percent. It's better than the thing I already had. They're a little bit more. 
more tricky just because they get out of the way of holy. Annoying little shits. Tragedy could strike at any moment. You'd like that, would you, Arden? Hey. Hi. There's nothing, there's nothing to him left. I don't think I'm on this Oh shit, okay, I can't walk through it. He's recovered. Teleported away, and yet I still consumed his soul. Power must have gone out. First keys, now power. What next? What was that noise? Is it scary being on your nerves? Eh. I got this. With that, I'm not so scared anymore. I know. I'm weird that way. The ability to summon a black hole. Better than nothing. Just... Whoa! Fuck me. That kind of fucked me up. I love surprises. Okay, no, they do a lot of damage. I didn't realize how much. Okay, I should be more afraid of these guys than I thought. Yeah, that, that's still one shots. Okay, that's good. Really, bitch? Really. Mind if I pick up this item now? Thank you. I 
did less damage than I was hoping. soul. Thank you. Hey, whilst you're here, give me yours. There's another one behind me as well. Oh, that's not a stormtrooper. most of the time, this would be a lot easier. That's fair. I was being cheeky. just really likes to not look at whatever I'm supposed to be fighting in this hallway. And it's kind of awkward. not fight any more of them, please. Are you serious? so bad in more open space. They're a pain in the dick. Hey, much, but it's better. Oh, 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 he's a stick man.
Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Oh, is there another? Oh, for fuck's sake. Try and be too cheap, you know. They spawn too often. Jesus. Your head can do more than wear a crown. Use it. <laughs> Thank you. Ever wonder where demons come from? Once upon a time, they were children of nature. Beasts and men. Oh, and you've killed so many. As modia based biological weapons exhibit an acute aversion to light, their cellular structure breaking down within moments of exposure. As the cells are converted to benign molecules, there is no inherent danger even should such a reaction occur. Lightproof armor presents a simple yet effective solution to the problem. <gasps> That's right. MTs a demon. Including cases around the village, the number of missing now stands at 1,657. Early reports from the MRF attribute the disappearance to an infectious disease, and investigations continue as regarding a potential connection to the demon outbreak. At the time of writing, the quarantining of West Gralia is complete, and the other sector remains infection free. Vanishing sickness. Huh. Nine days on from the mysterious disappearances in Neria Lead. It beggars belief that 812 people in an entire village could simply vanish into thin air. In more tangible developments of the demons that emerged in West Gralia at the same juncture, 60% are confirmed escaped from military facilities. Details of the remaining 40%, however, remain mysterious disappearances. Demons make. What's wrong? Demons. Don't tell me you're lost. You 
lucky little bitch. You were saved. To get a little bit of mana. That's all. The research lab has been devoid of human life for several weeks. The infantry units you callously dub MTs all began as babes in this very facility. I can't see. Imprinted with serial codes and incubated until they were strong enough to fight. What a pity. Innocent souls fated to suffer at the hands of a foreign king. Not so empty after all, are they? With the mass production of Magitech troopers having commenced in earnest, the Imperial Defense Council approves the implementation of the following reforms. The replacement of human inventory with Magitech units, and the augmenting of biological materials through cloning. Anything else to read or let? Not so much. Ah, no, that's just good. Oh, well done, my boy. <laughs> The infection has since manifested in five adjacent sectors and threatens to reach epidemic proportions. Its spread is invariably accompanied by the appearance of demons, and the likelihood cannot be ignored that the pathogens are demon-born. Quarantine has been expanded to encompass all areas in which epidemic the creatures are found. Proportions. That can't be good. That's the right. fascinating tidbit about your dear Pronto. What? Turns out he's not empty either. He's got quite the skeleton in his closet. <laughs> I forget about the sword. Nah, just don't want to use it. Following that outbreak in the North and West, demons have swept through the MRF, causing extensive damage to equipment. Control was subsequently lost over unprogrammed MTs, and strategies are being deliberated on the collection of rogue units. Meanwhile, 125 infected patients undergoing testing at the facility have vanished in a manner reminiscent of the first All the patients have been disappeared? That makes no sense. I like how it's implying that I buy stuff, but there's nothing in it, and it just opens. Like, this is so much more interesting to me. Then I uh, just. 
just using the sword that I've used the entire game. I get to use this kick-ass magic. That isn't anywhere near as kick-ass as this in any other chapter. I think. And that dodge just eviscerating everything when you get the timing just right. It warms my cold, black little heart. More than half the chief's inhabitants are now demons. There's no hope of neutralizing them, not with control lost over the MTs. Outside, the city swarms with yet more demons, former citizens. There is no escape. Yeah, that wasn't obvious. Security clearance raised to level 5. Level Access to level 5, five. zones authorized. The infected aren't disappearing, they're turning into demons. That we fail to see this defies belief, yet dwelling on it avails us naught in the face of the demon threat. Though of human origin, they're unlike the specimens bred for MTs. They cannot be controlled. Grab me. Thank you. He got boom. As far as I know, there isn't a better way to handle that. Because, like... No. No. Like, these guys are obviously going to come to life, but I can't. I can't interact the with them is yet. This place? What are they keeping inside? Not sure what that is, but I got a hunch it's bad. Don't like it one bit. This is where they clone the MTs? Oh no, this is the the Emperor's Chamber. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Things That's... are looking up. Uh... How will this story end, I wonder? Oh. Uh... Intruder alert. Mobilizing dormant Magitech infantry. What the wait. Is that what's waiting inside? Oh, even more of them. Where are your friends? You don't think oh, they ran off without you? You still haven't found Gladio. Only a matter of time before Ignis bumbles into a trap. Well, I missed out on an item. Whoops. Kind of reminds me of Monsters Inc. With like all of the doors instead of cloning pods. Security clearance raised to level six. Level Access to level six. six. Zones Your buddies have bright lives ahead of them. Don't take it personally if they choose their own or we yours.
Having no time. What's a wraith look like when you make it shrink? Not so tough without Not your much. borrowed toys, are you? Wave produced exceptional results in real world conditions, effectively inhibiting the Kingsglaive's warping and spell casting abilities. Powers that operate on the self same principle as the Wall of Lucis. That's right, they developed a weapon that would uh, make Lucis powerless. This report concludes that the wave can neutralize not only the wall, but all magical phenomena exhibited by Lucian royalty. Moreover, based on the data required from the encounter with Shiva, an enfeebling effect on the six can also be anticipated. So, In case there was any doubt, it's a trap. Yup. Really? He just told you it was a trap. While you dawdle, people are dying. Uh, I really got him done it now. No, you don't need it. Hey, no. You need it. Claudia, where are you? I'm here. Here. Hello. Ah, uh, Nox in trouble. Got it. Hey, there you, there you are. Switch nearby. Find it. Well, how do you know that? I believe it's the reason we were brought here. Help. Hell. Hey. That was close. How the hell did you get here? You're welcome. Thanks. After we were separated, we received help. From the usual suspect. That bastard's playing with us. But at least we're together. All but one of us. Reunited with your retainers at last. How very touching. Must be a fine feeling, having friends. Look how happy you are. So now... I pray you find your dear I Proto can't change soon. route anymore. That's fair. These kinds of rooms. It is with regret that I hereby suspend my plans to restore this Magitek weapon to full functionality. The spineless powers that be fear further incidents, and my efforts to activate and control the device were futile, it seems. If it is some sort of autonomous armament, then only divine intervention could bring the mech back online. Until that time comes, however, the device shall remain sealed. <sighs> Locked, meaning 
There's someone inside. Oh, hey, you can actually see Prompto from here. Hey. You look like you're in a Saw movie, mate. <laughs> go. I knew you'd go that way. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It was such a tease. Uh-huh. We've got different... different kinds of demons. Not just imps, but we've also got saber tusks. I mean, bigger imps. More imps. More imps. Oh. Fine selection of imps. Hey, Prompto! Hey. You all right? Are you hurt? Do you need help? I'm fine. Thank you, Noct. No sweat. Tell me. Were you worried about me? Of course I was. What kind of question is that? <laughs> of course. That's why you came. Like I believed you would. Prompto. That's why I told myself I couldn't die. Not until I could see you. And hear you tell me I'm not a fake. That I'm the real me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Everything's all right now. Okay, so we could now save. And call it there. And then do verse two and the DLC. Next time. as well finish this chapter. Knocked. Do you hear that? You hear what? I've heard this sound before. On the train, just before your weapons failed you. It's nearby. And it may hold the key to restoring your power. It's here. This thing? Door's locked. That's coming from within. Is there no way through? There's a way. So, MTs, they've got those code prints. Just like I do. Do they? Never looked. Yeah. So, as it turns out, I'm one of them. Not exactly something I could tell people growing up in Lucis. Still, you guys are like the only friends I've ever known. I just hope that things can stay the way they were. Whatever. Who cares where you were born? I don't see you turning against us. Not now, or ever. Thanks, guys. Still... I can't change where I came from. What I am. Since when does where you come from matter to you? Hmm? You never once treated me as a prince. <laughs> it's got you there. 
Never so much as a highness. We're done here. Come on, crown citizen. You're one of us, right? Unless you'd rather not be. I can't... I can't keep him. No. I can't... I can't do my boy like that. one way to go about it. Uh, so, did it work? With the device down and out, Nox power should be up and running. Go on, try it. All right. Moment of truth. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh. We're back, baby. Oh, good game. What a relief. <laughs> Let's roll. Yeah, you smack that booty prompto. But everyone needs their stuff re equipped. Oh, not everyone. Just Gladio. Apparently. Still something to fight here. How how do I get there? Do I go oh I think I go there. A Reaper? Let's get on with it. Would it stop his power though? I think no. I see you decided to rock the ring. Had to. No weapons, no friends, no choice, really. You know, somebody has got to fight to rescue the crystal. Not to mention rescue all of your asses. Spoken like a true king. You can say that again. Especially now that you're on your weapons. Oh. 
and there he was going to fuck me up if I don't level, but if I do level, I'll be slightly up. Make haste. Where's that elevator? You should be able to handle this, right? Get back! Now that I have the other weapons, I don't want to rely on the ring too much. Now that was the crystal. I'm guessing the way is locked. Well, I guess it's a good thing somebody has keys to the whole fortress. You're no better than a burglar, aren't I? Hopefully Biggs and Wedge both Ooh. made it to safety. Who and who? Our train drivers. And soldiers. They can fend for themselves. So, where'd you guys park the regalia? Outside. No park ain't the right... She's broken down, alas. Took one for us. Saved our lives. With all the technology in the world, do you feel like there'd be something that would get Igneous eyes back? I mean, I feel like if anything would have been able to have healed him, it would have been the Oracle. Unfortunately, she kind of did. Because we don't know how medicine works in this. Oh, fuck. Oh, that worried me. Because, like, med medicine could be um, spiritually based as opposed to medically. Still ain't all there is. I won't have the same amount of thunder. But...
fail far, fail cast. No, thank you. That seems good. Just a shit ton of magic. Yeah. I really need to finish up soon. So, we will... Finish up this chapter. They multiply. I could just save here. It's tempting to save here and do verse two and um, Prompto's episode. When we get back. The game feels like it could crash. Game may have just crashed. <laughs> if the game. Seriously? The game crashed. I think I think that might um that might clinch it. I've closed the application using Alt F four and the music's still playing. How? I should have saved. Here's the thing, I don't know. If it auto saves at all in chapter 13. I can't even, oh God. I can't even open, um, Task manager. Oh. I don't know if that was a good thing that the, that the audio finally stopped. Because task manager is not responding. So I now need to open task manager in order to make sure that an instance of task manager isn't open.
Either way, I think we'll call it there for today. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one, which should be Thursday. Uh, though, Thursday, I have another interview. So we might do... Either I might start later in the day, at like 3... And only stream for a few hours. I might make it a Genshin day. Or I might stream a little bit in the morning. No, I need to prepare. So we'll probably we'll probably stream in the evening only. Um for a few hours. And it might be Final Fantasy or it might be Genshin. I don't know. Anyway. I'll see you then. Have a good one. Later.